Vice President Jejo Morbinay, Senate President Franklin Rilon, Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno, Secretary Albert Del Rosario, His Excellency Archbishop Giuseppe Pinto, Excellencies of the Diplomatic Corps, Executive Secretary Paquito Ochoa, members of the Cabinet present, Honorable members of the Senate, the House of Representatives, and the Judiciary, heads of the international organizations, His Eminence Archbishop Luis Antonio Cardinal Tagle, AFP Chief of Staff General Gregorio Catapang, and the Major Service Commanders, PNP Chief Deputy Director General Leonardo Espina, representatives from the business sector and the non-government organizations, honored guests, fellow workers in government, mga minamahal ko pong kababayan, magandang maga po sa inyo there are times when my cabinet members meet with me to discuss very complex problems with no apparent solutions. These are the times I remind them that if there comes a time when there are no more problems left to be solved, then this will be our new problem. <laughs> or then life will become boring. I also remind them that if you can have everything you want, when you want it, the exact way you want it, then we would already be in heaven and not on this earth. When we look back on 2014, or when we look forward to our prospects in 2015, it becomes clear we are very much on this earth. Be it the tensions in the West brought about by the problems in the Ukraine, the increasingly erratic weather patterns brought about by global climate change, issues regarding the price of oil and the world market, the threat of pandemics like MERS, coronavirus, or Ebola, or selfish and senseless acts of violence as witnessed, in Pakistan, Australia, Canada, or most recently in France. There are indeed many problems confronting us. Having said this, we must also never forget how the vast majority of the world has responded to such trials. Instead of being daunted or wallowing in fear, we have chosen to hope. Instead of being divided by hatred, we have chosen to stand together and link arms in order to alleviate the suffering and despair of others. As President, I will never forget how the world reached out to the Philippines when we were affected by typhoons Haiyan and Hagupit and by other natural disasters. I will never forget how the global community has come together to fight climate change, including the example of His Holiness Pope Francis, who is expected to issue an encyclical on climate change and the imperative for all of humanity to take action. In facing the problems common to all of us, it has become clear that we can no longer look at complex issues and situations with a parochial mindset. Now more than ever, the truism of the saying, united we stand, divided we fall, comes to the forefront. We are responsible for our world and its future, whether in combating climate change and its effects or in fighting inequality, or in taking a stand against terrorism and instability. The time to act is now. We can work together, each person and each country, doing its part to collectively solve all these issues. Or we can think only of ourselves, thereby allowing these challenges to grow more convoluted and more insurmountable until we are all consumed by them. Looking around this hall today, I am heartened by the presence of our friends and partners from other nations and from different sectors of Philippine society. Many times over the past few years, we have been able to demonstrate our unity. I am confident that so long as we continue to work together, there is no hurdle that we cannot surpass, no challenge we cannot overcome, no promise we cannot fulfill. With this, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to propose a toast. To those who have, been, who have long been our friends and partners, may we deepen our relationships towards uplifting all our peoples. To my colleagues in government, may we continue to serve the Filipino to the fullest of our abilities with dedication, integrity, and true compassion. To my countrymen, known for their resilience, optimism, and genuine kindness, may we continue to draw strength from each other as we tread the straight path. And to all those working tirelessly towards the collective advancement of humanity, may we continue to, to choose the path of solidarity. May we never lose our trust in each other. And may the Lord Almighty provide us with fortitude and guidance as we forge a better world together. <laughs>